Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another question on the topic of geometry and the question is as follows, A is the center of the circle with radius r units and BD is the tangent to the circle at point C. If BC equals CD, then the area in square units of the shaded part is. Now we are provided for options for this question, option A 0.61 r square, option B 0.214 r square, option C 0.72 r square and option D 0.305 r square. So this was our question on the topic of geometry and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that I've tried the question and you've got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to our given question, we are given this figure and we have to calculate this green shaded area. Now according to our given question, the BD is the tangent such that BC is equal to CD. So let us take both the paths as equal to X. So we have got them as X. Now we are given the circle with the center at A. So we can say that this distance up till here is equal to R and this distance is also equal to R where R is the radius of the circle as given in the question. Now if we consider this point as P and Q respectively, then we can say that both of them is equal to a variable A. Now this is because this figure is symmetric to each other. So we have taken PD is equal to QB equal to A. Now according to our given question, we have to find the area of this given shaded area. So we can first calculate the area of the triangle, then subtract this area of the quadrant by which we can calculate the area of the shaded part. So let's begin with our solution. So as our first step, we should connect the points A and C and we'll get the radius AC. So this distance is equal to R. And as we all know, according to the tangents and circle properties, if the radius is in contact with the tangent of the circle at its circumference, then the angle made by both of them is equal to 90 degree. So this angle is equal to 90 degree and this angle is also equal to 90 degree by the linear pair. Now we have got ACD and ABC as right angle triangles. So we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. And if we apply Pythagoras theorem on any of them, then we'll simply get that R plus A whole square is equal to R square plus X square. So this can be treated as a first equation. Now the area of any triangle is equal to half into base into height. And for this triangle, we have got the base as X and height as R. So we can say that the height of the triangle is R and base X. So we have got half RX as the area of this triangle. Now this can be treated as a second equation. And this is equal to the area of the triangle ACD and ABC both because they are equal in areas. Now if area of any triangle is equal to half Rx, then the total area of the triangle ABD is equal to half Rx plus half Rx and we'll get the total area as Rx. So we have got one equation over here as well that the area of the triangle ABD is equal to Rx. Now we know another formula for the area of any triangle that is equal to half AB sine theta where A and B are two adjacent sides of the triangle and theta is the angle contained between them. So if we apply this formula on the triangle ABD, then we can say that its area is equal to half into R plus A into R plus A and the angle contained between them is equal to 90 degree. So sine 90 is simply equal to 1. So we have got the area of the triangle ABD as half R plus A whole square as well. So if we equate Rx with half R plus A whole square, then we'll get another equation. So let's equate that. So we have got Rx is equal to half R plus A whole square or we can say that R plus A whole square is equal to 2Rx. So this can be taken as a fourth equation. So we have got these four equations and you can see a similarity between the equation number one and equation number four. That is, we have got R plus A whole square in both these equations. So let's replace one R plus A whole square with another in any of the equations and let's see what we'll get. So let's replace equation number four, R plus A whole square is equal to 2Rx in equation number one and we'll get 2Rx is equal to R square plus X square or we can say that R square plus X square minus 2Rx is equal to zero or it implies that R minus X whole square is equal to zero. Now if R minus X whole square is equal to zero, it can be taken as R minus X is equal to zero or R is equal to X. So according to these two equations, we have got that R is equal to X. Now we have previously found 
that the area of the triangle was half Rx and the area of the total triangle was Rx. So if we replace R is equal to X, then we have got that area of the triangle ABD is equal to R square. Now we had to find the area of the triangle in terms of the area of the circle because the answer is given in R square. So we have got R square as the area of the triangle and we can easily find the area of this quadrant because we know that area of a quadrant is equal to pi by 4 r square. So our shaded region is nothing but r square minus pi by 4 r square. Now if we take out r square common, we'll get 1 minus pi by 4 as our answer. Now if we calculate this, we'll get 4 minus pi by 4 into r square as a final result. And upon calculating it, we'll get our final answer as 0.214 r square, which is equal to option number B according to a given question. So according to a given question, our area of the shaded region is option number B, 0.214 R square. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt, then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy.